some really interesting information about climate change and how that may have an impact on the mosquito population and the spread of disease, right? Yeah, so my research is mostly on mosquito-borne diseases like West Nile disease. Um, and climate has a really big impact, especially on mosquito-borne diseases, because mosquitoes are cold-blooded. So everything about how their biology works depends really strongly on temperature. And so one of the things we're noticing is that different species of mosquitoes are expanding uh, their geographic ranges farther towards the poles. And we're also sometimes seeing mosquitoes um, becoming really numerous earlier in the spring and persisting later into the fall. And so when we have those big populations of mosquitoes um, at, you know, for a longer time of the year um, and to a, a bigger geographic extent, we can expect that we might see more mosquito-borne diseases like West Nile virus. And, but you, we were also interesting because um, mosquitoes, they have like a, like a, a Goldilocks zone that they like to live in. Yeah, so, so that's another one of our key points. Um, mosquitoes actually do best at kind of like a middle Goldilocks temperature. So it can also get too hot for mosquitoes. And so with climate change, what we really expect is not that um, mosquito-borne diseases are going to get worse everywhere. They're going to get worse in some places, but they also might actually get better in some places um, where it's currently really good for them. And with climate change, it will get too hot. I ask a quick question because West Nile and Zika, are, they're, they're mosquito-borne, right? But they're different. Can you quickly explain that? So Zika and West Nile are spread by different species of mosquitoes. So there's actually um, a, a quite tight evolutionary relationship between different viruses and different species of mosquitoes. And so uh, West Nile has evolved specifically to be spread by a group of mosquitoes that are mostly in the genus Culex whereas Zika is spread by a different group of mosquitoes that's mostly in the genus Aedes. Um, and West Nile is spread like from mosquitoes to people, but people can't give it to another, another person, right? Yeah, so that's another interesting difference between Zika and West Nile virus. Um, Zika and um, other related viruses can be spread from human to mosquito to another human. Whereas West Nile virus um, is most is best spread in birds, um, but humans are what we call a dead end host. So uh, when humans get infected with West Nile virus, they can't really spread it to other humans because when mosquitoes bite an infected human, they're very unlikely to become infected with okay. the virus. So almost all human cases of West Nile come from a mosquito that bit a bird and then bit a human.